investigation never stops. Forensics is simply analyzing what you have discovered during your investigation. Well, every crime scene is going to be different, but every crime scene you should approach in a systematic method. My job is to uphold law. Your job will be to bring me the facts that I apply that law to. For someone wanting to go into the forensics field on the law enforcement side, um, you have to be, because everything that you do is scrutinized by the court system, the prosecutors, the defense attorneys, you have to be a person that's organized and methodical in collecting your evidence and documenting everything that you do. One of the situations that we kept finding ourselves in on the street was interacting with the SWAT team. On a lot of different uh, tactical situations, you can utilize the dog as a location tool. Uh, instead of jeopardizing a human to locate a bad guy, that's most likely, if, if a SWAT team is called, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a really bad deal. It's potentially somebody's armed or hostage or something like that. My name is Michelle Esparza. I'm a board certified criminal lawyer and I defend people who are accused of crimes. Through every case we have, we develop a theory. And once we have the theory, then we go about gathering the information to support that theory. And sometimes it's scientific and sometimes it's the social sciences, the gray area. But sometimes it's hard science. We use polygraphs sometimes in our work. It can be very helpful. Because the truth is, the truth is, if our clients tell us what happened, we know more about what happened out there than anybody. Especially if everybody else out there can't testify. I'm Mark McFerrin. I'm the fire marshal for the city of Bryan, and I'm in charge of investigating fires for the city. When we go into a house, say, and we see aluminum melted, we know that house got to at least 1,200 de degrees. When we go to a house, we see copper melted, we know that home got to at least 2,000 degrees. So it gives us an indication of the type of heat. We deal with fingerprinting, we deal with DNA, we deal with uh, chemicals as far as gasoline, accelerant type products. We have to be passionate. You have to be passionate about this job. We need good crime scene investigators. We need people that are passionate about it, that love it, that live, eat, and breathe it because they're not out there. We need good people that just, this is their passion and this is what they want to do because there are jobs for people like you that want to do this job and you have to speak for those people that can't speak anymore. You have to speak for the victims, and that's what we do. We are, we are the speakers for the victims. I have a nine month old. I have a four month old. I have an 18 week old. You can do this job and still have a life. <laughs>